The Ebony Fashion Fair was an exhibit. It was a chance, an opportunity of a lifetime to see these fashions up close. There were lots of oohs and ahs, beautiful African-American women wearing fabulous designer clothing. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful women from light to dark, from size four to size eight, and then we had always a full-figured model too. It's something you mark your calendars for and get your tickets in advance. Everyone went, planned their outfits. They were a huge deal. I mean, they were sort of, at that point, the social event. It changed over the years because every year had to be a totally different show. The constant were the Johnsons. The fashion fair was started at a time when black models were generally not being included in mainstream fashion shows. Mrs. Johnson broke boundaries and barriers. She was in Europe shopping for these shows at a time when many black women could only dream. To see them on African-American models was her goal that she accomplished. We performed six nights a week, six different cities. We had a Greyhound bus and room for 200 garments on that bus. We had to narrow it down. Everyone we needed for the show was on the bus. We would get to the new city, check in, go right to the venue sometimes. Some of it was very editorial. Some of it was just so beautiful. It was always about shocking the audience. You come out with a, a cape on and underneath the whole cape is lined in gold lame and the audience, oh, wow. So we'd walk towards the audience and then once we, bam, turn around and show the back, that was another shock for it. That in particular was a little risque and a little cutesy and feisty. I kind of was the first one to bring comedy to the show. It was just something to bring fun and it was different. The receptions that they would do after the shows were just fabulous. The fashion fair had a tremendous impact on fashion. Music in runway shows was not a common feature until the fashion fair did it. I'm a big girl, so back then, there were really no avenues for full-figure women to get into modeling. Mrs. Johnson introduced plus-size models early on. So in each city, the show was sponsored, if you will, by a local charity, and so they did a tremendous amount of fundraising. It was just really nice to be with people who were so appreciative of what we were doing. The Fashion Fair experience set, you know, a cultural trend that proved and demonstrated that African Americans were equally capable of being involved in high fashion as we were in every other endeavor. The George Washington University Museum and the Textile Museum decided to host Inspiring Beauty. This is the first ever exhibition on the Ebony Fashion Fair. The love that I see coming through the exhibition in many cases is a return on what the Johnsons gave. Now that the show is no longer in existence, we have not forgotten each other. We understand our legacy and we're trying to honor Mrs. Johnson and keep it going.